Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you are all good. Now today I really fancy painting a feather. I'm going to use these colours, mainly by Otosa. We've got mask black, we've got tallow green, titanium white, gold and tangerine, a small metallic one. I'm also going to use Darren Rowney sap green and I'm going to make my own mix. The usual mix is 50% water, 50% PVA glue, around 20% of Floetrol. You mix really well till you get this consistency that looks like runny honey. So very little build up, nice stream. We are going to need a tissue paper as well today. So I'm going to prepare small cutout sections, you'll see later on why. So I'm cutting them now. I think they might be quite useful for making the feather. I'll put these away now and coat my background black. I had some pre-mixed paint. To be honest, this paint has been in this container for a month. So hopefully it will work well. I don't need much. I'm going to use my palette now. It looks like a small spatula and spread it evenly. I'm going to remove the air bubbles. I didn't add any silicone to my paints, but now I'm thinking perhaps I'll add one drop to the chosen colors. So one drop will go to gold and one drop to this uh, teal green. This is coconut oil serum, my silicone replacement. Just one drop. One drop here. Now if you stir it twice and leave it, your cells should be bigger, but if you mix it really well, if you mix your silicone really well, you should get smaller, smaller cells. I don't want really huge cells, I'm just stirring a few times, that will do. I transferred some of my white into the small bottle too, because it will be easier for me to, well, draw the sort of the middle of the feather here. Can always fix it later on. See these cups I recycle, they are so useful because I can bend them. I'm not sure whether to put green all around or just in some sections. These colours look like peacock's feather, but I'm not going to plan making a peacock's feather. Just a random look at this orange. Tangerine. <laughs> so I'll start with these cutouts first. Repeated here. I didn't wet these small cutouts. with the ending, just need to fix this part. To 
just want to remove a bit of this white. Yep. the end because I think I put a bit too much white trying to make the shape right in the end. I'm quite happy with the shape and with the colors I think I need a bit more white though in the middle so I'm just going to use my chain Take a bit of white on the side and dip my chain in it. I'll probably have to turn it this way because it'll be easier for me to drag from the bottom up here. So let's turn the whole thing. So nice angle for me. And a little shaky. Yay! Well, so this is the half finished product. I'm quite fussy with my work usually, so I'll keep going, keep going till it looks the way I want it to look. Uh, now my two options are either start adding a bit of white when it's still wet and my other option would be to actually wait till it's completely dry and I can fix some small sections that I'm not too happy with. But overall I'm quite pleased with the feather. Okay see you soon! My piece is completely dry now. You can see the shimmer of the gold and I can either varnish it now or put resin on. I'm kind of deliberating because the canvas is not the smallest. I don't want it to sag. So the easiest thing would be to either spray it or varnish or just put a thin layer of, of uh, polyacrylic perhaps. Uh, however, I do like the resin look. Next stage would be taping the edges so that the resin doesn't drip. Well, some people like the drips. I, I prefer just a dome of resin and nothing on the edges. So I'm going to use my painter's tape and tape along every single edge. I'll tell you what else I do. Once I tape all the edges, to make sure that it really adheres very well, I'm going to use a hairdryer and just heat it up a bit and then press again. Also make sure that your surface is perfectly level. It may happen sometimes that the first layer of resin is not perfect. Like here, I, I didn't use my favorite resin and I do have some marks, so I'll have to put a second coat. Uh, but before I do it, I'll have to sand it first to make sure that the second coat of resin will adhere properly. That was a really quick job, like two minutes sanding. You don't have to be super careful. Now you can see all the sort of marks in the first layer really well. Okay, so make sure you wipe all the dust off. This is my favorite resin to coat an artwork for Mastercast and it's one to one. That means I'm going to use one part of resin to one part of hardener and mix it well for approximately three, four minutes. These cups are excellent for measuring and mixing resin. Um, as usual, I'm just eyeballing, but 
each uh, resin company would have on their website would have a calculator how to uh, how much resin do you need to cover a particular piece so yeah just check check it out now we have to mix really well i would say three four minutes make sure you're scraping the edges carefully combining both hardener and resin there'll be quite a lot of air bubbles which you will remove later on using a heat gun time to spread the resin You have a bigger kind of a palette knife spatula thingy. <laughs> I'm just spreading the puddle all the edges. Oh, I forgot I should be wearing gloves. You should always be wearing gloves while working with resin. And it's because I was mixing this really small amount and I was filming at the same time, I just completely forgot. But there you are, my gloves. I also recommend wearing a respirator. Make sure you are getting all the edges covered. If you want a nice bone. Now you can see all the white marks all over the painting. These are the air bubbles that, has, that have to be removed using a torch or a heat gun. That's what I'm going to do now. So you can see all the white marks disappearing once I hit the area. These are all the air bubbles gone. This is the next day, uh, the resin is dry to touch, however there are some imperfections so as I was expecting I'll have to do another layer, however look how beautiful and shiny it looks, even now, and I'm going to show you, uh, I'll put a lamp on to, to show you how the, the gold glitters, wow just look at all the, the shimmer in artificial light especially the golden endings Whoa. that's pretty nice well i hope you enjoyed the video so if you did please press like and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye and see you soon